Good morning, everybody. Today, doing this a little bit different. I got this new cook set from Leah. And Canadian IMPs don't have um, flavorless ration heaters with them. You get them separate. But this is a 2015 Canadian IMP that I got from my friend Smitty. Get that out of there. And we done heated it up in this stove right here, this little bar old cooker. This is about 150 degrees. And I want to take that and set this over the side and see what else is in the package. This is what we have in our 2015 Canadian IMP Beans and Wieners. This is actually considered a breakfast menu. Frank's Red Hot. We have a whitener for tea or coffee. A grape sports drink. Raspberry jam. This Canadian raspberry jam is pretty good. Matches. Sugar. Smitty's favorite, espresso coffee. Chilled cappuccino protein drink. Apple and brown sugar crunchy cereal. And you get a hamburger bun. Sliced peaches. And your beans and wieners. Multi purpose hot beverage bag. Get some cichlids type gum. And in this year, they still have the old white spoon. We're going to put a little bit of hot water in our oatmeal. Not too much. Need a little more than that. Mm. Nice and milky looking. And our beans and wieners has a production date of the 188th day of 2014. So they're a little over six years old. Actually about seven years old. So, But hopefully they're still good. And if anyone was wondering... Is turkey sausage, mechanically separated turkey. Yummy, yummy. We're going to take our espresso coffee. Dump it in there. That looks pretty good still. <laughs> There's a dust to choke you. Put in the sugar. And I thought I seen some whitener a while ago. I guess it's a colorant whitener for tea and coffee. Seems to be semi-good. Look at this first before I pour it in. Oh yeah. Add a little bit of water. I think about three ounces. All of that. That's got a good coffee aroma coming off of it. Getting hot too. Put that back over there. We have our grape sports drink, but I'm not going to use that right now. Now we give you one package of jam, no peanut butter, but I think that was common. We'll drop that on the floor. Hamburger bun has production date of the 302nd day of 2014, so, you know, it's old too. Stuff heating up over in our little stove. Leah got me the flameless ration heater. Let's see if I can get that out without burning me. It's just got a heat element down there. Want to set that. Right there, well, it fits perfect. Seven year old piece of hamburger bun. That tastes pretty decent. Yeah, that fit just pretty good right down that pan, right in that slot. To be seven years old, this is pretty good. Not a bad piece of hamburger bun. 
We got our chilled cappuccino protein drink. Spread bottle of pouch, add cold water to the line. Zip tight and shake. Hope that stuff in there is dark looking as pieces of chocolate, but we'll just call it chocolate anyway. We've added our cold water. We're just zipping it tight. Fold that over. Right, give it a shake. Then we'll let that sit over there for a little bit. Taste our coffee. Espresso. That's pretty good. It had just a little bit more sugar, but not bad at all. Ooh, a little warm. A little strong. Just the way it's supposed to be. Alright, try some of our mechanically processed turkey sausage. Which looks like a hot dog to me. Smells good. You can smell it cooking in the whole house almost. Let's give it a taste. Hmm, still pretty good to be made back in 2014. piece of bread down in there. Get a bite like that. Not bad at all. And our sliced pears is the ninth day of 2015. So that's, we'll see how that does. Well, they look like pears. But that's, that's a good thing. Maybe they look like dark pears. Try a little raspberry jam. Peach jam would be my favorite, but raspberry's real close. This oatmeal, brown sugar, that's really good. Just don't have to add no sugar in it. And a pear, oh boy. Taste a little bit of syrup first. That don't taste bad. Still firm and crunchy sounding. Like that. Hmm. Tastes like a pear. You know, it's pretty good to be seven years old and still could eat a pear out of a plastic bag. Well, everybody, that does it for our 2015 beans and wieners. Thanks again, Smitty, for sending this to me. And, um, man, it's not bad at all. I want to finish up the oatmeal and everything else and call it a day, and we'll see y'all later. Bye.